Hey guys, welcome back to Moonlighter. Didn't get to play it all yesterday, so I'm pretty excited to get in and do some progress today. Uh, hope y'all have been looking forward to more of this series, because that's definitely all I'm going to be uploading for the near future, other than maybe some Slay the Spire. Uh, but yeah, let's get back into it. Kind of want to do a longer episode today. I think uh, we left off, I think we had an empty inventory, so we were ready to go again. And... So we're going to do, a, I guess, a bit of grinding, and then hopefully by the end of this episode we're going to try the first boss in the first, the Golem Dungeon. So let's go. <laughs> I like that opening screen. Let's continue. Okay, let's double check, see if we have anything. Uh, we've got plenty of potions on us. I think I, think I want to leave these behind, just so we'll have more inventory space. Okay, and we did get our upgraded weapons last time. So it'll be fun to try those out. Got everything is enchanted, I think. Except for these, but we're a little low on money. So let's go straight to the dungeon. Also, I guess we can check out today um, how the daytime dungeon looks, since we don't have anything to set up shop with right now. Oh, that doesn't go very far. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we have kind of ice effects on our sword, on our fists now, so we'll have to see how that goes. Still not sure yet if the um, elemental or whatever damage from the new weapons is going to be different than just regular damage. Oh, that looks like it's stunned. Yeah, cool. A little stun on our fists. Alright, so we're going to try and run through the first floor as quick as possible. I guess it was a different book we got before, but cool, something new. Ooh, we can dip into the forest stitch. We haven't seen that in a while. Because those materials sell really well. Yeah, we have a lot of damage now <laughs> compared to before. Oh, is that all we got here? Just a little dip into the forest. Ooh, I saw that sparkle down there. Can't hide that. Sparkle if nothing was actually down here. I guess just reminding you that sometimes the pits have stuff. Okay, do we have a new. Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. Um, yeah, yeah, we've read this one. Bastard. 
Oh, that chest is sinking into the slime. Die, die, die. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's one way to do a timed chest. so far. We definitely don't need more than one stack of jello pudding. Another thing I'd like to do today, or probably in this session, is I do want to try and craft one of the, I guess, first stage items that we're not planning to use, and then see how well it sells in the shop. since it seems like I'm taking damage whenever I'm just holding the shield out instead of actually, like, timing it. I think that might be what it is. Or just planting my face into their backs. That's another big cause of my damage. We'll probably come across the healing spring soon. I just missed. Oh, I don't like these water guys. Okay, 
something important in here. Kind of risky to not potion right now, but I feel like we're gonna come across the spring real soon. Oh, wait, it's not this room, so let's potion just in case. No, we ended up not taking any damage. Oh, okay, we took one hit. Just because I thought we had already finished him. Okay, more golem volumes. Artifact becomes this artifact. Okay, so. Hmm. Yeah, we're already running out of space. Sell those. We don't need more pudding. I only need a single stack of those. Uh, this doesn't sell well, so let's get rid of it. And let's use this one to send back that steel. And then we'll use this one. this to send back, what do I want to send back? Send back these potion materials, because that's just taking up space. Um, we need the diagonal, so take that there, that there, and that there. Anyway, now I don't have to worry about actually having pudding at home without it taking up spaces. We'll just take these until we know what they are. I'm just going to keep calling it pudding. Still like the healing spring. I don't appreciate getting hit with these tiny ass slimes. Can I? Can I? Okay, you can just stun yourself. Okay, we picked up more pudding. Get out of here. I want these other things. Okay, that only leaves one way we haven't been yet. Yay, it's the spring. Oh wow, it didn't even heal our full health bar. That's a shame. these things up. Weed wagon. Okay, level three. Hopefully we'll find some more uh, artifacts that have the send home curse. So we can free up room. Level three looks so nice. I wish I could drink from this. Exploded. Oh. Okay, y'all are suicide bombers, great. What do we got? Uh, do we have any go homes? No, no go homes. Great. Uh, lots of duplicators. Destroy a curse on that one. It's time to decide. Okay, let's get rid of fabric because that doesn't sell well. I'll worry about crafting stuff later. Um, okay, well. Okay, I'm 
gonna, I'm not gonna prioritize any of them with this curse right now, because let's let's face it, I get hit a lot. Foundry wrists. Those are good for crafting. Uh, we know these are real good. So let's sell. Okay, we'll sell these. There you go. We'll just sell all of these that I usually put in the shop, just to make room. So those are lower end items. We have lots of golem designs in here. Uh, these sell really well. See, I don't have a lot of, like, large stacks of trash right now that I want to use these transform curses with, so I'm just going to put them in the corners where they're not going to do anything for now. Uh, that will destroy an artifact curse. Let's use that to identify something. Uh, put this over here temporarily. That there. That there. What do we get? Old Molt Golem Minion design, cool. So we have a lot of those now. Let's put you... Right there. Like that. Because we can't stack these yet because of the curse. I'm not going to take that one. And that one won't stack. So I guess we're full up for now. Leave these behind. They didn't sell that well. Okay, we'll leave it behind. Well, no, we don't really have any reason to leave it behind. We can just sell it directly. Same with these. Wow, 501. Nice. Cool. All right. Curse remover. Let's get rid of the curse on something that'll let us stack. How about this one? Put that there. Oh, that's not what I meant. This one. Doink. Alright, you'll stack now. Fragile, so let's just sell you. Golem volume, golem designs. Another unknown one. I kind of want to keep the hardened steel because it's good for crafting, but I tell you what, let's get rid of that because it's relatively low value. So many golem designs and golem volumes. I'm sure these sell well. Oh, five's the max attack for these. Well, sorry, but we're gonna sell this one. Only 139. That's not too bad. There we go. 
That'll do. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Sucks keeping holding up slots with these forest dungeon stuff. I just I want to know what they're worth. Well, we've gotten one of these before, and the demand was very high for them. So I really want to keep that if we can. Obviously, we'll get a lot more forest stuff once we can actually go in the forest dungeon, so maybe I shouldn't put such a high priority on them. But, you know. I want them. These are worth a lot, though, so I shouldn't leave that behind. Golem designs. Golem designs. Golem designs. If I can break the curse on that, then we can stack some more, but I don't have any curse breakers right now. We do have plenty of these at home, so they're kind of low value. There. This is just pack ratting the game. Oh, yay. Wouldn't particularly hurt, but it's good to know where they are. That's it? You're the only thing in here? We're in an easy room. Oh, what happened? This... this is a special room. Wait. What? Why is this room so big? We didn't... we weren't at the boss yet, were we? Was this... that wasn't the boss door. It was the boss door. Well, shit. But we're only on floor three. Or two. What? Okay, well, we're fighting now, I guess. Oh, ow. Holy shit. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I was a little slow there. Alright, I wonder if status effects work on him. What are you doing? Oh, shit. Can stun him a little bit. Oh man, I can't dodge between those. Whoosh. Okay, I'm gonna play jump rope for a minute. Oh god, that's fast. Let's push it. It's in. It's better to do that than to use the charge rush. Ow. Ow. Okay, okay. We'll back off for a sec. Go over to the right side. There's a little more empty space to move. Oh, come on. Ah, I'm stuck in him. Oh, Jesus. Alright, we got this. Whee, we did it. Okay, I was not expecting to come across the boss here. 
And our pack's full, too. Oh, hello. Wait, how do we get to you? Oh, look. I can push his eyeball around? What the hell? Uh, okay. Well. I need to free up some space in my pack. Alright, sorry, forest materials. But something more important came along. What are these? Golem King energy crystals. Huge crystal with enough energy to power the enormous Golem King. Cool. I can't pick up his eye. Okay, well, how do I... Okay, there's stairs. I hope this doesn't send me back to town. Okay, wow, we got a lot of stuff in here. Oh boy. Golem History 1, 2, and 3. Golem Volume, that'll stack. Designs 1, 2, King Jolting, King Golem Designs, that'll stack. Stack. Okay, we need three spots for those books. Oh, uh, we have no room. Uh, well, shit. Boy, I sure wish I had broken the curse on these things. Well, I suppose I could leave some of the stuff in the chest and come back to it. Because it doesn't look like it's going to make me leave the dungeon yet. I can come back to this chest. Get some of the really important stuff on my top row, though. Just in case something bad happens, you know. So we'll come back for the rest of this stuff in a second. Okay. It's just an exit. We're good. So here's where we might consider using the merchant emblem. Wait. We can't use it here. That's weird. Oh no, we can't leave the boss room. Well... Yeah, see, we're only on the second floor. No, we're on the third floor, but we didn't make it to the boss. Oh, was it just like a shortcut or something? Or is it just a chance that he's on this floor? Weird. But I guess we do have to decide on that loot. So, sorry rest of this stuff, but I'm gonna have to take the stuff that we haven't gotten yet. Which means, what are we gonna free up? Well... Probably these sword, broken swords. Get them golden designs. Um, golden volume, golden volume, golden volume. Okay, we've got a good bit of golden volume soon. That's gonna make five more of those. So let's get, of this, get rid of the single ones. Okay, um, take our mystery thing back. These are just crafting material. Get rid of that. Take our leaves back. And I don't think anything here is less valuable. Oh wait, no, we still need to get, make room for these golden designs. Um, well, I guess we'll just have to get rid of the mystery one. We'll never know what it was. 
So I don't want to give up any of these other things. Actually, yeah, let's get rid of this one. So we've got a whole stack of five that it's going to make there. Okay, and just too bad, so sad, white stone. We've spent too much time on looting here. And we get to go home without spending money to do it. Yay. Well, that was a Golem King. <laughs> Wasn't too hard to beat. Okay, cool. The mystery one was Golem Chisels. Shut up, phone. So we have a lot of Golem Chisels now. Good. All right. We got a key. Yeah. It was you, wasn't it, Will? The one who defeated the Golem King. Boy, you put yourself... Boy! <laughs> you put yourself in such unnecessary danger. But I got sweet loot, though. A lock on the door opened? Maybe Pete was on to something. Old crazy Pete. Regardless, just leave it. That door isn't worth your life. Pete didn't heed our warnings, and, well, due to the buzz your heroics are creating, the town has decided to reopen the forest engine. But with the Golem King dead by your hands, now is a great time to focus on Moonlighter. Take advantage of this momentum to expand the shop a bit. The town board should show what contractors are available. A somewhat strange traveler is looking to set up shop in the town as well. He specializes in crafting odd ornaments and such. Could make for some great decorations once you expand. And finally, Andre over at the Vulcan's Forge is preparing some new gear. He predicts an influx of materials from the forest engine to occur as people become more brazen due to your recent actions. Go there, see what he can offer. I won't have your demise on my shoulders, boy. In before plot twist where he's like being so adamant about us not exploring it that he's related to something in the final dungeon. Okay, so forest dungeon's open. Well, we've got a decent bit of money even without setting up shop, so... Yeah, I know we need 8,000 to upgrade our shop, but we can buy that sweet cash register though. Alrighty. Oh yeah, we have a new uh, town person talk text now. With the forest engine now open, some old recipes are popping up. I had a really good mushroom forest cream the other day, because this is one of the food persons. It's made with a bucket of milk, a couple magical mushrooms, and an old bowl. Bowl. Okay. The chefs around here are just so creative. I'm pretty sure they're just making whatever the fuck stew. Twitch with your warnings, old man. I'll punch this box. Rebellion. Oh, I walked right past you. The rumor mill is churning, saying you defeated the Golem King. Is that true? Well, you best be careful. You probably just got lucky. Probably. I mean, it was luck that we even encountered him. Leave the rest of the Guardians to the proper heroes. Andre over at Vulcan's Forge is saying many good materials can be found in the dense forest engine. Ancient wood, old bulbs, and pure acid are great for weapons. Strong leaves, preserved root, and magic wood can craft better armor. I mean, we already saw that in the ingredient list before. We came to visit Rainoka because we heard someone defeated a huge Guardian. No one has ever defeated a Guardian before. This is going to put Rainoka back on the map. They even reopen the forest engine in celebration. I'd like to buy a souvenir from the forest engine, but those artifacts are still so just so darn expensive. Hell yeah, give me money. You defeated the Golem King? Did you find any exclusive artifacts? Yeah, I found a bunch of stuff. Today's fun fact. Did you know that Crazy Pete was the first to stumble upon the Golem Guardian? He was the one that named it the Golem King. Some hero discovered the forest guardian a couple years ago. She didn't make it back on one of her attempts to defeat it, though. They soon closed most of the dungeons after that. 
One person gets killed and everyone gets scared. Father says you defeated the Golem King. I think he made it up though. You're just a merchant, not a hero. Father just wants me to be a merchant. Always lecturing me. Always so boring. All of you will see. One day I'll be a hero, just like Mommy. I won't waste my time away behind a counter. Same. TBH. I'm hearing people say you defeated the Golem King, Well, You, a merchant, not a hero. These are interesting times indeed. It's because I bought good stuff. And you only really have two or three attack cycles. <laughs> My wife attempted to defeat the Guardian of the Forest Engine once. Said it was the biggest foe she'd faced in her entire life. Ah, I see. My wife would be really happy to hear a merchant defeated the Guardian. She always said merchants and heroes were not that different from each other. So there's just literally no other professions in this world? Hmm. Okay, so you got the same stuff, it's just... They're letting us know that there's upgrades, I guess. I really should have kept those foundry rests. I, I need them. Oh well. Let's go through inventory. Hey, our new cash register. Oh, we have a new thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I know. That's what we did. Okay, so... There's our pudding. Well, let's start pricing some stuff. Actually, we know we want to save some of these chisels and stuff. There we go, we'll save ten of them. hesitant to sell any of these things because they were rare. Alright, okay, let's read the golem history. We all come from the dirt. Life itself is itself dirt. A cycle of birth and decay. Something no man, woman, or even stone can escape. As we came from dirt, so did the stone. Harnessing the life energy flowing through the ground, we animated rock to serve us. Stone rose to assist us, to protect us. While our hands crafted their life, their hands cradled ours. Well, isn't that sweet? Golem King Joggings. The King of Stone, imbued with the largest energy crystal found, this entity will serve to protect us from any who wish us harm. These images and hastily written notes seem to resemble a schematic of some sort, something akin to the Golem roaming around the Golem Dungeon. Further notes on how to create the physical body of a Golem, but nothing on how to actually animate it. Finally, images on inserting a power source into a Golem. Most frustratingly, though, the part on fusing the power source is scratched out. The text is faded, but looks to be instructions on how to create one of the living golems. Okay. I guess we've... Have we found most all the things we can get from the golem dungeon? I still don't know why some of these have prices next to them and some of them don't. Bow has 512,000 next to it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's store those. So I guess for our next segment, we're just going to have to sit here and try and highball all these designs we've never sold before and see how much people actually buy them for. I mean, it's boss loot, so it should go for a lot, right? Especially the crystals. Let's start with one of these at like, I don't know, 2,000. And then... This one was specifically from the boss, so let's try like 5,000. We're probably not gonna sell much on our next time we open up shop, because I don't wanna over- I don't wanna underprice these things. I mean, clearly now that we've beaten it once, we can just go in and fight it again for more loot, but still. 
I don't want to lose a whole lot of money. And golem designs we've sold before for a thousand and it was too cheap. So let's try and narrow down that price. So golem designs two ought to sell for a pretty good amount too. I'm wondering if that's too low. <laughs> okay, well, we'll start with that. But first we have to go to sleep. I mean, we could, actually, we could go for another dive. Why not, right? Let's see, we, we actually, we've been recording for 40 minutes already. Let's just do some shopping. So I do want to have, um, with my little episodes here, I do want to have both a dungeon and shop segment to each. So if you're only here for the gameplay gameplay and not for the shopping gameplay, that's what the rest of this episode is going to be. And then I'll end it after that and start a new one for going back in the dungeon. Alright, let's see how these prices do. Yep, I figured that'd be too cheap. Okay, 6,000 is too much. I think we're getting close because it, it registered on the. He didn't just get pissed off. for that one. Okay, so 2,500 was too much. How about that? Okay, we never sold this one before. price. These are the Golem King jottings, come on. Let's 
Still not good on that one. Okay. No. God dang. Come on, guys. This is rare shit. Okay, you didn't like it, but you bought it. That one's just really not worth very much. Okay, they were happy with this one, 1500. Let's go ahead and drop a whole stack of them over there. We don't seem to have to worry about how much money they actually have. As long as the base price is good, they'll buy a full stack if they've got the money for it. Still no good on that one, huh? This one ain't worth shit. boss loot would be a little bit more valuable. How about the golem volume? So they worth anything good? We were finding these pretty often, so I'm gonna start that at a low price. That and we only have the one on the stack. No, don't leave. No, nope, 3,000 still not good on that one. Days we're gonna sell these golem king drawings. All right, so since we didn't make a whole lot of progress, I'm just gonna go to hell to sleep and then reopen shop. Ooh. So the golem design two went down in popularity already. Maybe because it was overpriced. But we're just gonna go to sleep. We're gonna sleep it off. Today's a new day, we'll keep haggling them prices down. Oh, we do have a lot of money though. We could go or upgrade the shop. Let's do that. That way we can have more things running at once. We're getting a lot of stuff done this episode. Let's upgrade our shop. Achievement, first investment. Don't mind those broken barrels and shit out front. Yay. Okay, we can now buy this guy once we have the money. That's the guy they were talking about where we can buy um, decorations and stuff for our shop. Our next upgrade costs 60,000, so that'll be a while before we get that. 20,000 for the silver cash register. <laughs> That's probably our next up. So I'm not sure what the point of the sale boxes is. Hey, how's it going? That's what you call a good job. Hmm? It doesn't seem like a big change. Well, beauty comes from within. 
In other words, look inside. Woo! What's all this? Uh, okay, so decorations. Okay, so the decorations make people happier. What is this? Hmm, okay, so they'll have a um, an icon when they're trying to steal something, I guess. I'm assuming that's what that is. Well, I don't know. I'm not really sure what this is trying to tell me. I don't know what that icon means. This is different from the thief one, so it's not him stealing it. Almost seems like he's a richer person, so he'll buy it for that price. Maybe that was a continuation of the previous one, where if you have a more fancy feel in your shop, more wealthy customers will come. Maybe that's what they're trying to say. Okay, did we sell one of these yet? Okay, 2,000 was cheap for that one, so let's try and drop another one in here and raise the price. Sign three, they didn't like it at 2,500, but they bought it. So let's put it over there. Wait, why did it autofill to 2,000 though? Let's try 2,250. And design one, they're fine with it at 1,550, so let's just sell it. And they still didn't like the price on that one, so we don't know what it is yet. Golem 2, they're kind of meh at 1700, so let's just drop that to 1500 and be done with it, I think. The popularity is low on it. That's fine, we've only got the one left. Okay, it looks good. How oh, cool, we have a little flip counter now. Generous customers. Every visitor adds a generous tip to their payment. Cool. I guess we just got that for free from upgrading. And we have two chests now. Oops, I didn't mean to grab all of them, but... Put that broom back in there. Let's open shop. Try this out. Welcome to the new Moonlighter. Look around. We got one whole extra table. You want equipment. Sorry, buddy. I ain't got nothing in that line today. Still too much for that. Well, let's just straight bump it down to 1,900. Okay. Uh, okay, Golem history. We've sold before. Let's try 2,300. price it was listed, so I'm going to leave that one up there for the same. Hey, 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 kid. This is our first thief. I'm trying to steal my fucking crystals. I gotta relist it and everything. Okay, that was cheap. I think that was the minion design too, so we finally have a price for that. something. I missed it. Let's 
So let's try listing that at there. No, oh, you still didn't like the price of this one. For being Golem Design 3, you sure aren't worth much. on the other table, I think. This is where things are going to start getting confusing. Alright, well, let's just try and get some money out of these. Five hundred was too much for these. bought it anyway. Now the popularity of that went down. Okay, you're fine with that. You thought that was cheap for the two? Okay. sell one of these so we found okay they're only kind of okay with it at $16.99 so $14.99 should be good I'm still not really sure what those icons mean no you motherfucker that wasn't fair he was all the way by the door that's a brand new element to this game. Put the cheaper stuff, um, put the cheaper stuff by the door and the more expensive stuff by the counter. Man, I didn't think it was gonna get that um, specific. All right, guys, that's my last thing. Buy it. That sucks too, because you don't know they're a thief until they grab it. time too. We're rich. Whew. Okay, so 26 customers, two thieves. Upgrading the shop gave us more attention. Huh? Thieves made away with the golem design too. Okay, well at least it wasn't a three. We didn't actually sell any twos though, so sadly we don't know what they're worth now. Golem History 3 went for 3,900, 2 went for 1950. Cool. Well, one way or another, we made a lot of money. Popularity went down of the Golem Design 3. Alrighty. So, um, let's see, I guess. We got a little off track with this episode. Um, but we got, we did what we set out to do, which was beat the boss. Just happened sooner than we thought and we had a nice long shop segment here because of trying to find out new prices so i'm gonna go ahead and end today's episode here and what i'll do is on the next one i'm gonna make it our little uh, sub quest to farm up a little bit in the earlier floors and we're gonna try and craft some equipment specifically for selling and see if we can get a good price out of that uh, we got a lot of money right now so we can afford to do those designs because they do still cost 4,000 each to make. Well, the, the very earliest ones took 1,000, but the actual 
first upgrades took 4,000. So I'm hoping this can sell for a real good amount. I'm not sure like how much more, but we just want to know how much profit we can make by crafting first and selling as opposed to just selling ingredients. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here and we're going to go to sleep. <laughs> night night, Will. We'll see y'all next time.